sell a lot of iBook and MacBook computers, and the most common question my customers ask is, what is the difference? So I've made this video to hopefully answer that as completely as possible. First, let's examine how they're similar. Both computers are made by Apple and run the Mac OS X operating system. This includes well-known programs such as iTunes, iPhoto, iMovie, PhotoBooth, and GarageBand. Both computers have a light-up Apple logo on the back of the screen. Both computers have a slot-loading optical drive on the side. Both computers come equipped with the usual things such as wireless networking, Bluetooth, USB ports, and FireWire. Both computers, like all Apples, are more or less unaffected by the thousands of viruses that plague the Windows PCs. Now, let's talk about some of the differences. First, I think it's important to understand that the last iBooks were manufactured in 2006. At this point, the MacBook was introduced as a replacement to the iBook. The most important difference of all would be the CPU. The iBook G4 uses, well, a PowerPC G4 processor, which is no longer used in any Apple products. The MacBooks use a dual-core Intel processor, which is much faster and will run all of the latest software. This processor also gives the MacBook the ability to run Microsoft Windows, if for some reason you have a desire to do that. The MacBook has a built-in webcam where the iBook does not. However, the iBook can use a USB webcam. The MacBook uses a MagSafe power connection, which is held on magnetically so that in the event of tripping over the power cord, it will just pop off, causing no damage, where the iBook uses the older style power connector. The MacBook is somewhat thinner than the iBook and also offers the newer style of chiclet keys, where the iBook uses the older style keyboard. The MacBook touchpad can use a two-finger scroll, and most iBooks cannot. It is worth mentioning that the 1.33 and 1.42 GHz iBooks did include this feature, though. The MacBook can run Apple's latest operating system called Snow Leopard, otherwise known as 10.6. The newest operating system that the iBook can run is the older Leopard 10.5. Keep in mind that Leopard was the standard operating system on all Macs until August of 2009, so it isn't all that old. An iBook can hold a maximum of 1.5 gigabytes of RAM, where a MacBook can do up to 4 and in some cases 6 gigabytes. Not that I can imagine why you'd ever need that much. And I suppose another big difference I should mention about these is the price. I typically sell iBooks for around $300 to $400 and MacBooks between $500 and $700. Now, there are also other Apple laptops such as the PowerBook, which was made during the same time as the iBook. It is very similar, except that it has a metal casing instead of plastic. But I rarely have those for sale. Also, the MacBook comes in other flavors, such as the MacBook Pro and the MacBook Air. But again, I rarely have those for sale, so this video was primarily made to show the difference between the two models of laptop that I most often sell.